Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 2 of Pokemon Yellow. So, in the last episode we made it here to the Viridian Forest, so... Uh, let's continue on and look around here. Did you find a Pikachu? I own a Pikachu, if that's what matters there, young lady and your Nidoran female that's level 6. That's a pain in the butt, but we should be able to have enough power on Pika Lachu Laguinio. That really doesn't affect me because Thunder Shaku! Wow, that does no damage at all. We both don't really do a lot of damage, that's for sure. Oh, then we got the legendary crit that this Pikachu is known for. This Pikachu just gets all the crits for days. And down it goes. And is about to use Nidoran Male. The male version of Nidoran. Which looks way cooler, by the way. I also don't think it has anything to hit us. Oh, it has Tackle. It has 3 HP worth of damage. Ah, uh, but it looks like we do about the exact same. Pika! Oh god, this thing is... these things are so annoying. Oh, we got the paralysis, though. And it sadly didn't get locked down to the paralysis, so that's a bother. Come on, buddy, you're supposed to get the legendary crit. Also, Leer does the exact same thing as uh, Tail Whip, by the way. Just for a different Pokémon, for whatever reason. Hey, and Pikachu's level 8. And learn Thunder Wave, so now we can force Pokemon to be paralyzed. That's pretty cool. Great for catching Pokemon. Also, 90 Poke Dollars is like next to nothing. Wow, one step in the grass and there's a Pokemon. It's a Wild Caterpie. The Worm Pokemon. We should be able to beat this with Nidoran. Oh, that's some decent damage, finally, and it only does one damage, so yeah, we'll farm off of these Caterpies as we travel through here. String Shot lowers speed, it just means it's gonna get one off one more tackle, whole one HP worth of damage before we go down. Not really threatening, and... A Pokeball, so we got our Pokeball back from catching the Nidoran earlier. And another Caterpie. As if the Caterpie is much of a threat. Oh, that one actually does two damage. This one has higher stats than the other one. Then, despite going for a string shot and somehow failing, because this game is a troll sometimes. And we'll go for the tackle once more, and bada bing. Hopefully we gain some levels up. That's oh, a Pidgey, level 6. This calls for Jurassic Pikachu measures. That's a high level Pidgey. Oh, thank god I missed that. That would just be annoying. Oh, if we got a crit it would have been one shot. This is gonna sting, Peaks. Hang on, buddy. Oh, I got a crit, no. Oh yeah, your sound effects like to disappear once the beep boo beep boo beep boo's going on. Oh, right on. Queen's level 8. And Queen literally learned Scratch, which is just another version of freaking Tackle. Like, all that, and we literally just learn an attack that's like the exact same thing. Nice. Gotta love this game sometimes, man. Oh, I thought there was an item over there. I have lots of Pokeballs. We, we don't really need any right now, though. Okay, let's battle Pokemon. I'm fine with that. Bro, hon. Oh, I was about to say, like, the music in my headset is, like, not playing on one side, but it is. So we'll do that, and then we'll move this here, because Scratches is better, because in this game it's 100% accuracy. Is this thing really level 7? It's a crazy level Caterpie, man. It's gonna be a long fight. 
especially if it lowers our speed like that. Should have probably bought potions instead of all those Pokeballs, but yeah, I was a I was a boob doing that. Ah, I could have got off more damage on us, but it just went for the string shot. It's about to use Caterpie. And then we'll switch to Linguini, just because Linguini has more HP. Plus, Linguini needs XP, too. He'll be more useful come the second gym, not so much the first gym. So, we'll Thundershock you. And, of course, it did that. It, if, if we had Quick Attack, it wouldn't be so bad, but we don't have Quick Attack. We literally only have one attacking move. And it's Thundershock. But there we go, we took down the legendary Caterpie. And Queen's level 9. Not too bad. Of course Caterpie can't cut it, it's just Caterpie. It's a stage 1 Pokemon that just... doesn't really have a lot of power behind it. Alright, let's jam out there, Mr. Bugcatcher. And your three Pokemon, including Metapod. The thing is, Metapod can't fight back. But it increases its defense every turn. So essentially, you're just gonna be spamming attacks until it dies. That's about it. It's, it's essentially free XP, despite, you know being kind of a pain in the butt to deal with. Luckily we got Scratch so we can't miss. Well, every move in this game has like a, a weird random chance to miss. I can keep hardening all at once, but I think we're already doing the minimum amount of damage we can do. So it should die this turn. Yep, it fainted. And it's about to use Caterpie, so we'll just switch Linguini into the Caterpie. Because Caterpie can actually do damage. Pika! Yeah. Oh, there's that crit we were talking about. Oh, and the paralysis. Can we get the first turn paralyzed too? No. Sad. Goodbye, Caterpie. Oh, and it's another Metapod. I think we'll just stay in, though. Simply because we're running long moves anyway, plus Linguini needs to level up, since he's not really going to get to see a lot of combat once we're out of the Viridian Forest anyway. And there we go, it's down. There we go, level 9. Yeah, you ran out of Pokemon. Also, 60 Poke Dollars is not enough money, man. That's not even enough to buy anything at the store. Ooh, potion. Now, I keep forgetting I'm not playing any, like, other game, because, like, I keep pressing buttons that technically don't exist on this console, and it's like, oh, okay. I was wondering why nothing's working. It's just me forgetting what I'm playing. Oh, press the wrong button, you know, despite knowing which button I'm supposed to push. What's well, Metapod. Metabot is just free XP. So we'll fight this for the free XP. Alright, come on. Ooh, looks like one more and it's down. It's gotta, it's gotta suck to look like a, a Wang and then only have the ability to harden. That sounds ridiculous. Alright, there we go. Oh, it's just a Caterpie. Technically, we could use Caterpie too, but you'd have to get it to level 10 to evolve it into Butterfree to learn Confusion and still weak to rock types. Oh yeah, I forgot in this game. You can get into a battle before they see you. What do you have? Caterpie? I'm fine with Caterpie. Let's go for the scratch. 
It's level 8 Caterpie, holy cow. Why do you have a level 8 Caterpie? Like, there's no reason not to evolve it into Metapod. It keeps its attacks. Oh, and there's that rare chance of, um, Scratch missing that I was talking about. Because Scratch, while it has 100% accuracy, can miss. Which is ridiculous. Wait, did I just use Growl? Oops. I meant to use Tackle. Luckily, I growled it, though, so it's Tackle does next to nothing. I just don't want to run out of scratches. That's all I wanted. They said Caterpie's going to give us a lot of XP, and it's about to use a Metapod. We're running low on PP on moves, so we're going to have to switch into Pikachu for this. Pika! Oh, that did nothing! Holy cow, is this... Wait, this Metapod has Tackle! This is a God Pod. And it used Harden like an idiot, and now it gets to die. Goodbye, Metapod. I'm sorry, buddy. 123 XP. Holy cow. That's some good XP, man. And what do we have to face this time? A Caterpie? It's only level 3 though, like level 3 isn't even good. Level 3 is kind of poop. Oh no, it's Smitchums again. I don't think we have to fight any of the wild Pokemon now. I think the trainers are enough. Oh boy are these wild Pokemon brutal today. Level 4 Pidgey, go away. You're kind of a baby Pidgey. Oh my god. What is with the encounter rate on this pathway, man? He's one level away from evolving. Or is it level 7? No, it's level 7 and level 10. Anyways. Potion. I'm pretty sure in one of the other versions of the game, you get an antidote here. Because there are normally other bug Pokemon called Weedle. But in yellow version, I think it's only Caterpie. Alright, what do you have? A level 10 Caterpie! Feel my wrath as I destroy you with the Caterpie of the Gods! That is a high level Caterpie though. It should be a Butterfree by now, but this guy's like, no, I think I'll keep Caterpie, the worst uh, form of the Caterpie evolutionary line. Like, that's ridiculous, man. Why would you ever want your Caterpie to stay a Caterpie? Butterfree is even cuter than it, so I don't know why you do that. Like, it's it's not cuter, it's not stronger, it's not faster, it's not anything. It's just weak and wussy. And we've reached level 11. I may have been wrong, though. Maybe we needed a Mankey. Maybe this Pokemon doesn't learn Double Kick like I thought it does. If it doesn't, we might be boned before the next gym, but... Oh, I hope that's not the case. Because we need something to fight the gym. What do you guys have to say? Oh, cut using a special Pokemon move. Yay! Go all different places to get all different kinds of Pokemon. Yay, we made it to Pewter City. The first gym town of the game, and sad part is, we don't actually have any moves to defeat the gym. Because I think I grabbed the wrong Pokemon. Aren't I just a genius? Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon in the links below, and in the next episode, we will be taking on the gym. Probably after I, um go and train up Pokemon or something, because there's no way we're going to win this, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.